Let me start by asking a question to all of you. Can somebody take a guess and tell me how did Tata Sumo, yes, the famous vehicle of Tata, get its name Sumo? I'm sure 99% of you would guess because the vehicle is sturdy, it's big, it is probably named behind or after the Japanese sumo wrestlers, isn't it? But probably that's not true. Let me tell you how Tata Sumo got its name. The story is about Mr. Sumanth Mulgaonkar. He is known as probably the father of Telco and has had a vital role in establishing Tata Motors. During his tenure, while he was heading Tata Motors, it was often observed that during the lunch hours, Mr. Sumanth used to take out his vehicle, go out, and while the lunch hours finished off, he used to drive back and join back his duties. As usually happens in the corporate sector, the tongue started to wag. People wanted to know where did Mr. Sumanth go? And the grapevine started off. And somebody made a remark, probably he's been hosted for a lunch at a five-star hotel by some selected dealers in Tata. And obviously, some curious executives wanted to get into the depth of it. And so it happened. And one fine day, while Mr. Sumanth moved out of the office, a couple of executives started following him up. But to their utter astonishment, what they saw, it was not a five-star hotel where the vehicle stopped. Mr. Suman's vehicle stopped outside a highway dhaba, and they were all surprised. Mr. Sumanth went out and ordered lunch for himself. And he joined a couple of truck drivers who were sitting there for lunch. While having lunch together, Mr. Sumanth started asking those truck drivers, what were the good things in Tata trucks which they liked about it? And what were the improvement areas? What could be added or removed in the Tata trucks which would give them the driving pleasure and comfort? And while the truck drivers gave him feedback, he jotted them down. And obviously, we could all know the reasons why Tata is so today. It's all because of the zeal, the enthusiasm of one person who took his job so seriously. All the suggestions given by the truck drivers were came back, shared with his team, and hence slowly the improvement started coming in. And obviously, the befitting tribute which any corporate could give to one of its employees was naming one of the most successful vehicles in Indian history after that person. So Tata Sumo is named after Mr. Sumanth Mulgaonkar. SU in Sumo comes from Sumanth and MO comes from Mulgaonkar. Put together, it made Tata Sumo and not behind the Japanese sumo wrestlers. Mr. Sumanth Mulgaonkar has left his mark in the history and because of his contribution to the Indian automobile industry, he had been awarded as with Padma Bhushan in the year 1990. We've had such huge people, such great people, such amazing personalities in India. Probably we need to know a little bit more about them. The moment I came to know about it, I could not refrain myself and started making this video to make all of you much more aware about our great past and great people whom India has been blessed with. Thank you so much.